The festival was once again hailed the winner in this year's recently concluded Aliwan Fiesta. Here's Pat Fernandez with more. The richness of the Philippine culture is deeply embedded in creative festivals in various cities to honor their respective patron saints. In 2002, the first Aliwan Fiesta was held to gather the champions of the country's major festivals. The cultural competition became an annual celebration Filipinos look forward to. The Aliwan Fiesta features the contenders in grand parades and floats. The Reina ng Aliwan Beauty Pageant and the much-awaited street dance competition in the 4-kilometer stretch from the Quirino Grandstand in Rizal Park to the cultural center of the Philippines complex in Rojas Boulevard. This year, Aliwan Fiesta, which is now on its 11th edition, partnered for the first time with the Department of Tourism and the Tourism Promotions Board. For the fourth consecutive year, the group representing Iloilo's Dinagyang Festival, Tribo Panayanon, again won this year's Aliwan Fiesta. Known for its technical prowess and precision in speed, Tribo Panayanon bested 17 other contestants to take home the grand prize of 1 million pesos. Susan Isorena Arcega, one of the organizers of the event, says the group never fails to surprise the crowd with unique presentations year after year. What really makes them stand out is their speed, their technical precision, but more than anything, it's physical theater at its very best. North Cotabato's Kalibungan Festival, represented by Grupo Ragsak, won second place, while Maguindanao's Meguyaya Festival, represented by Tatribong Upi, came in third. Another Maguindanao Festival, Padang Padang, took fourth place, while Benguet's Adivay Festival landed fifth. Special awards were also given to participants. Benguet's Adivay Festival brought home 10,000 pesos for winning the Pride of the Place for Folkloric Performance Award. Iloilo's Dinagyang Festival, meanwhile, received the Best in Music and Best in Costume Awards. The Best in Festival Float Award went to Alang Alang, latest Bahandi Han, Eastern Visayas Linganay Festival, which won the 500,000 peso grand prize. Two festivals from the Maguindanao, the Balinali Sangadung and the Gat Akastili Sabanobo won second and third place respectively. Four other festivals from Maguindanao, the Pusaka, Makaumbang sa Dinaig, Sagayan and Panimbang Atarakoku were also named as runners-up. I think it's a matter of helping them as well project a culture of peace. Uh, the country badly needs good news. They need good news in particular, and I think we're all still reeling from shock from you know what happened there two or three years ago. But uh, the Maguindanaoans are definitive in their move to show that they are also um, festive, just like the rest of the country, and uh, they're willing to share their culture with everybody else. Jamie Harrell, representing Cebu Senulog Festival, was named this year's Reina ng Aliwan, besting 18 other hopefuls and receiving 100,000 pesos and other prizes in kind. Arcega says she was very happy with the crowd this year as more people went to the event despite the election season. She adds the Filipino community in Canada has also expressed its willingness to participate in the event. Indeed, you need not spend money and travel to provinces to experience the country's festivals. The Aliwan Fiesta has it all here in the metro. Pat Fernandez, Solar News.